Hi, my name is Sean. I am a pin setter mechanic. I am certified to work on Brunswick AA2 and Jetpack pin setters. Now, I'm going to start start a separate series and it's going to be by request only. Cuz I do not know what everyone needs explained and what everyone wants explained. So the first video is a request by Keith Blackketter 2395 and I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong that's just how it looks to me um so he is wanting he's wanting me to explain how the blocking fingers work uh he said that he has he has someone that he's trying to teach um he has someone he's trying to teach to try to understand the blocking fingers and he said he has the the uh fuck which one is this he has a seven pin side figured out pretty well. You know, that's one's pretty easy. You have the restrictive drop link and the link connects to the finger. It's connected into the bracket that goes up and down and that actuates your blocking finger to go up and down. And now he was saying he's having a little bit of trouble getting him to understand how the 10 pin side works, which is completely understandable. That one's a little bit more complicated. Um, I'm going to show you on here um, it's because it's kind of easy to see everything and all that good stuff. Now, of course you have your turret cam that sits in here, okay? Uh, with that projection that goes on the cam, it goes and it hits... God dang it. Goes and it hits that roller that sits in here okay when it hits that roller it moves your long link back when your long link moves back it is supposed to push your blocking finger down okay or yeah it's supposed to push it down just like when I release that it goes back down or back up okay so when it drops that five pin and it goes over goes and it catches it pushes that long link down okay I mean not the link pushes the blocking finger down okay so also in here is you have this little flag that sits in here okay normally there would be a spring connecting from the uh, blocking finger to that flag that is when you get into the whole uh, deck having to be forward up and empty or what I was called fooey <laughs> um, so this flag is sitting on your control cable roller okay and when uh, when the deck is down then that control cable that control cable isn't pushing on this and it does not push on this until the deck is up is up forward and empty in which case that control cable pulley will push this forward and it relieves tension on there see that once that's pushed forward but before that happens as the decks going down it goes and it releases the long link but of course even though the long links released the fingers still down until that control cable pushes the flag releasing the finger so I showed you on here now I'm going to show you what everything else looks like on the machine itself. See, so here we are. There's that flag. And there's the control cable pulley. Now I can... I can move this. And move that finger up. So that's what this thing's job is supposed to do, okay? 
once once it follows the cam then this comes back forward pushes this forward releasing that finger but even if that was pulled forward if your long link was still locked then it would keep that finger back but that's why when it goes to set new pins it releases your long link your finger is still down and then once the deck comes once the deck comes back up and is forward and empty pushes on the flag releases the blocking finger um, that's about as <laughs> that's about as in detail as I can go so uh, I hope Keith I hope that this helped uh, explain stuff a little bit better uh, if it didn't uh, go ahead and leave some questions in the comments and I'll try to I'll try to answer them a little bit better but uh, I feel like this is a pretty good explanation of how that uh, 10 pin side blocking finger works and I know it gets a little complicated and all that but uh, if you kind of break it down to the two separate parts the long link and the uh, flag itself then maybe that, uh, that kind of helps explain things just a little bit better I mean they are connected but they are two separate things technically speaking so um, anyone else who uh, had questions about the blocking fingers I hope this helps as well and uh, yeah uh, like I said that this uh, this pin setter explained series um, is going to be by request only so if you have anything that you want me to try and explain a little bit better uh, please leave me in the comments below and I will make a video about it all right thank you and I'll see you in the next video bye